In Islam, faith is not blind. It is based off knowledge and rationality. When Muslims are asked why they believe Islam is the truth, they respond by saying the Qur'an is the proof. But when they are asked to explain how, it can be difficult to give a satisfying answer because there is just so much that can be said. So, how is the Qur'an a miracle? Allah revealed a verse in the Qur'an affirming that he would protect his revelation from ever being corrupted 1400 years ago. If you think about it, this is a huge claim to make, yet we find the Qur'an remains completely unchanged after all these years. No matter where you are in the world, the Qur'an is one and no two Muslims disagree. In another verse, Allah says that he has made the Qur'an easy to learn and asks if there will be anyone that will learn it. Every single generation since the Qur'an was revealed has had memorizers, making it the only book to have passed down in human memory. Considering most Muslims don't understand the language, the speed at which they can learn the Qur'an is almost unbelievable. To give you an idea, imagine memorizing a page of Chinese in a matter of half an hour. Today, there are more than 100 million memorizers of all its 600 pages, word for word, letter for letter. You might be asking, why is the Qur'an in Arabic if most Muslims aren't Arabs? Well, Allah tells us why in many verses. In one, he says to remove any crookedness or confusion, and in another, so that it may be perfectly clear. We now know that Arabic is one of the most eloquent languages that delivers incredible depth and precision with the least amount of words. In Arabic, one single word can translate into a full descriptive sentence. If the Qur'an was in English, it would have to be thousands of pages thicker, if not more, just to carry a close enough meaning. The effect that the Qur'an has on those who listen to it being recited can easily be seen from the thousands of reaction videos on YouTube. It literally brings people to tears despite them not understanding the language. Guess what? Allah explicitly told us that people would react like this 1400 years ago. In the fourth chapter, Allah presents an open challenge. He says, Do they not reflect upon the Quran? If it had been from anyone other than Allah, they would have found in it much error and contradiction. Fourteen centuries of critics have passed, and not a single error or contradiction can be found, despite great advancements in knowledge. Allah has placed many scientific subtleties in the Quran for us to reflect on. For example, the Big Bang that describes the creation of the universe starting from a single point, or the expansion of the universe that was discovered in the last 50 years. To give you an idea of how much of a breakthrough this was, Stephen Hawking said that this was one of the great intellectual revolutions of the 20th century. This was explicitly mentioned in the Quran 14 centuries ago. More signs include every living thing being made of water, and mountains as pegs, standing firm and stabilizing the earth from shaking. Amazingly, Allah mentions two seas that meet but don't mix, one fresh and sweet, the other salty and bitter, and between them being a barrier, all of which science has confirmed. Allah states how the human is formed, which we have found is in the correct chronological order. Particularly, Allah describes the embryo in shockingly accurate detail. The famous Professor Keith Moore admitted this information could not have been known by man 1400 years ago. Of the historical signs in the Qur'an include the preservation of the Pharaoh of Egypt. Both the Bible and the Qur'an mention that he drowned after Moses peace be upon him parted the sea. But the Qur'an also makes a very unique statement not found in the Bible. Allah says that he will preserve his body and save it as a sign for future generations. The Qur'an describes the location where the Persians defeated the Romans as the lowest land. Not only have historians derived that the battle took place near the Dead Sea, 
scientists have confirmed that this location is in fact the lowest point of land on Earth, 417 meters below sea level. The Quran is full of stories of previous prophets. Not many people know that Moses, peace be upon him, is the most frequently mentioned name. The Quran also narrates many stories about Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Mary, the mother of Jesus, is regarded as one of the best women to walk the face of the earth and has a whole chapter to herself. Why these story signs? Because there is no way they were plagiarized. In that time, there was not a single library or translation of the Bible available. There are also many linguistic miracles in the Quran. Modern research shows that the Quran follows a remarkable structure called ring composition. Let's take chapter 2 of the Quran as an example. This chapter can be split into nine groups based on the theme of the group. The first group mirrors the last group, the second group mirrors the second to last group, and so on. What's more is that there are sub-rings inside each group, in other words, rings inside of rings. If we look at group 8, we find yet another ring inside of that ring. There are also countless other occurrences in the Quran, such as the word day, in its singular, being mentioned 365 times, and the word month, 12 times. The word life is mentioned the same number of times as death, angels, the same number as devils, good deeds, the same as bad deeds, and belief, the same as disbelief. These are only just a few examples. Additionally, the Quran describes death, the day of judgment, heaven and hell in such vivid detail. In fact, you can hardly find a page in the Quran that doesn't mention the day of judgment. All of that whilst presenting a complete way of life for us to follow. In Islam, anything that causes harm is not allowed, and everything that is beneficial and good is encouraged. Why is there harm? Because life is a test. Allah says in the Quran, He who created death and life to test which of you are best indeed. Islam develops your character, it teaches you how to carry yourself and how to be in control. Islam protects and empowers women, it eliminates racism, terrorism and all oppression. A good Muslim is one who people feel safe around from their actions and words one who people trust, and one who people look up to. A huge part of understanding why the Qur'an is a miracle is understanding how it was revealed. The Qur'an came down over 23 years in spoken form. It was not written down. Once verses came down, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, recited them, and his companions memorized them. Unlike any other book, the Qur'an did not go through an editing process. Once the verse was spoken, it was done. That was the final version. The verses were not revealed in order, starting from chapter 1, verse 1, 2, 3, and so on. The chapters and verses were revealed out of sequence. Furthermore, they could not be planned ahead of time. They were revealed as a result of life experiences that were out of the Prophet's control such as enemies challenging him, or the believers asking him life questions. To summarize, the Qur'an has been perfectly preserved and unchanged for 14 centuries, whilst excelling linguistically, scientifically, historically, and mathematically. It has a profound impact on those who listen to it, and is memorized and recited by hundreds of millions of people worldwide. It brings forth a complete way of life and fills the hearts with peace and purpose. Humanity is yet to rise to its challenges, as Allah promised, and it's safe to say that no matter what angle you look at the Qur'an, it shows no weakness. Allah says, if you are in doubt, then produce even a chapter like it. Then he says, call upon your witnesses. In other words, go ahead, work in a team, gather all of humanity and try your best. He then seals the challenge by saying, if you do not, and you will never be able to. 1400 years have passed, and no book, or text, 
or speech in any language comes close to competing with the quality, eloquence and perfection of the Qur'an. A lot of people think if they follow Islam, they're going to deprive themselves of things they would have otherwise enjoyed. Actually, the opposite is true. Allah tells us that if we live life by his book, burdens are lifted and life becomes so much better and easier. The freedom, peace and harmony found in the heart of a true Muslim cannot be described until it is experienced. Allah has given us countless signs. Will we continue turning our backs? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم سنريهم آياتنا في الآفاق وفي أنفسهم حتى يتبين لهم حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق